judge warns of alarming rise in moped attacks as killers jailed for 50 years. They murdered the 28-year-old as they launched a five-hour knifing and robbing spree, speeding around West London on Gilmany's moped. Judge Marks, the common sergeant of London. Jailed Gilmini for life with a minimum tariff of 27 years and ordered Thomas to be detained for 22 years. Passing sentence at the Old Bailey, he warned of an increasing and extremely disturbing rise in fatal knife attacks in London. He said, There has been an alarming increase in the use of mopeds in offences, particularly violence and robbery. That must be reflected over all sentences. Abdul Samad was an outstanding young man in his twenties engaged to be married with his whole life ahead of him. Your wicked stabbing has left his family utterly devastated. Whether they will ever be able to recover from that devastation is open to doubt. As they awaited sentence Gilmany, wearing a grey jogging top and bottoms, joked with Thomas, who wore a green Gucci top. Furious relatives of the defendants packed the public gallery and screamed obscenities after the judge handed down his sentence. Judge Marks also paid tribute to police who arrested the pair after a dramatic chase in which Gilmany tried to deter them by taking off his crash helmet. He thought officers might hold back for fear of causing him head injuries but the officers persisted and detained him. Judge Marks said, their conduct was unquestionably exemplary. They deserve the highest praise. Gilmany and Thomas, both of May de Vale, West London were found guilty of Mr. Samad's murder last month following a four-week trial. Oliver Glasgow, prosecuting, told the jury they acted like highwaymen of the 21st century who threatened and robbed vulnerable strangers walking the streets at night. He said they attacked in a brazen and shocking manner and were motivated by simple aggression and bloodlust. The prosecutor added, they hoped to steal wallets and valuables from their victims. Where possible. They intended to take their victims' mobile phones, which they knew they could quickly sell for cash. By the end of their four-hour spree of violence they had committed nine robberies at knife point. They had gratuitously stabbed four defenseless victims and killed Abdul Samad. He said Gilmany stabbed Mr. Samad in the chest because they wanted his iPhone. The victim, who worked with disadvantaged children, was just yards from his home when he collapsed. His father? Mother and brother ran out to help him. His grieving fiancé Sultana Ahmed told the court in a victim impact statement, I felt like I died with Abdul that day. He took a part of me that will never come back. Abdul lived for his job of helping children. He was the change we needed to see in the world. Why would someone snatch his life away? It still feels like a nightmare to me, I relive everything every single day. Mr. Samad's mother Layla Begum said in her statement that her husband Fuzl my and elder son Abdullah had, were absolutely broken by the tragedy. I would do anything to get him back, she said. Sometimes when I am at home I think he will walk in again and this has all been a bad dream. Both thugs had been smoking cannabis and taking tranquilizers before the four-hour crime spree last October. Thomas admitted robbing the victims but denied responsibility for the violence while Gilmany pleaded guilty to the robberies and violence. Judge Marks said the use of a moped and the fact they wore crash helmets and balaclavas were aggravating features. He said, What struck me was your attitude towards what you had done, casual, matter-off fact indifference. Michael Turner QC, representing Thomas, said he was acting as a getaway driver and had no intention to kill. And Dexter Dias QC said his client Gilmany suffers from the mental disorder ADHD and has an IQ of barely 60. The Daily Express has launched a Stop the Moped Madness crusade to highlight the horrifying attacks.